Okay, welcome to the podcast on database normalization for comp three of A2 computing. Um, normalization is the process used to come up with the best possible design for a relational database so that tables are organized such that no data is unnecessarily duplicated, data is consistent throughout the database, the structure of each table is flexible enough to allow you to enter as many or as few items as required, the structure should enable the user to make all kinds of complex queries relating data from different tables. So in order for that to happen, we need to get our database in what's called third normal form. So let's take a look and start this exercise. So here's my set of unnormalized data. Now you can see straight away, there's lots of duplication. So the module number there, just looking down, there's 100 twice. Level, got two twice, three, there's another two, a two, two ones, a two. Duration, again, similar story. So there's lots of duplication of data there. So we want to avoid that. So let's have a look at getting this into first normal form. Now, first step of getting into first normal form is to split it up so that there's a table who has a, attributes that repeat and attributes that are not repeating. So if we look back at our, uh, our unnormalized data, you can see that the module number repeats, the level repeats, the module name repeats, the duration repeats, the completion date repeats, and the result repeats. The only thing that doesn't repeat is these four here, the first name, the last name, the trainee number, and date of birth. So I'm going to split that up. So trainee number, let's just drag these out. And then we've got module number. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step, in each table, we need to identify an attribute which can be used as a unique identifier, the primary key. So I need to drag my primary key symbol across. So in the first table, it's obvious because the trainee number is what we're going to use, just like a membership number for a video. <laughs> Excuse me. In here, well, again, it's fairly obvious, we're going to have to have the module number. The module number is the thing that uniquely identifies a particular module. Now, we've got a bit of a problem here, is because the module number is not fully unique, because if we look back, you can see that there's that module number repeats several times, otherwise it wouldn't be in the repeating table. Now we've got to add something here that's going to make it unique. Now to do that, what we have to do is we have to take one of the attributes from the top table and bring it down into the second. So I'm just going to make space for it. Now the attribute we always bring is the primary key of the other table. So in this case it's trainee number. And we make that a key as well. So you can see that our a repeating table has a composite key of module number and trainee number. And if I put them together, module number 100, Benjamin Boateng, or sorry, module number 100, trainee number 800123, you can see that's a unique combination. So that is then our key for here. Okay. So there is our table in first normal form. So let's move on. Okay, so to get a a table into second normal form, we're only concerned with attributes that have more than one key. So we've got one table here that's already in second normal form because it's only got the one key. So we're going to move that across. Okay, to, to be in second normal form, each attribute requires all parts of the key to uniquely identify it. Check that each attribute is dependent on the primary key. So looking at this, well my module name is dependent on my module number not so much on the trainee number. The level, well that's dependent on the module number as well. Module duration, module number. Date completed, well that's that needs the module number and also the trainee number because obviously different trainees could complete it at different times. And the same goes for result. So I'm going to split this into two tables.
Oops. Take that out, wrong place. Okay, so I've taken that out and I've split them up. Okay, as you can see, there's a link between the two there because um, obviously I've got module number up there. So this is all in, in second normal form. Okay, finally, we need to move it into third normal form. So we take our second normal form data and our statement reads, all non-key attributes must depend only on the key. Look at the table in second normal form and move any attributes that are not totally dependent on their keys to form a new table. Well, first name is dependent on the trainee number, last name is dependent on the trainee number, and date of birth is dependent on the trainee number. So I'm just going to move them all across there. I'm happy with those. Okay, now let's have a look at my table again. So I've got a table there, module number, module name, level, and module duration. So it's these four here. Hmm. Well, looking down here, it looks as though the level is dependent on the module duration. Okay, it's not fully dependent on the key. So I'm going to split them up. So I'm going to move this in here. Module number, module name. Put this in like that. Um, looking at this last one, date completed, fully dependent on the key. Result, fully dependent on the key. So I'm going to move them across. Excuse me. Okay, so we need to have a a primary key for this table, so I'm going to make it level. Uh, we need to link it back to the table we've taken it from. So again, I'm going to put level in here as a foreign key. Okay, so that just maintains the link. Okay, so that's just fully in third normal form. So that's a step through the process of getting a database from unnormalized form into third normal form.